Hey friends, welcome back to Make My World Many. All right, so I have something to share with you today. But first, I want if you to do say not see your comment handle and you want to be entered in the giveaway, please comment on this video, this one down below, so I know that you want to be entered in the giveaway before it's over on April 27th. And we're going to do the random drawing on Sunday, April 28th. Yes. All right. Let's get on with the rest of this video. Okay, friends. So I bought some simulation cream glue. See, simulation cream glue off of Amazon. Shipping's kind of high right now. So the product wasn't actually a lot, but shipping was a lot. But anyway, they give you three tips. Here's one. And here's one. And this one. And then here's the cream glue. So I got white and I've got this, uh, I guess it's like an off green or a pastel green. And then this was in there as well. These little like gems. See, I'm Thank really you. excited to have purchased this because now I can do my strawberry sponge cake without worrying about running out of the whipped cream from Master Chef, And I can do hopefully the cheesecake and the other tart. Come on. There we go. The other tart. All right. So I'm going to get started with the strawberry cake. Before I share the simulation cream glue cake or the strawberry cream cake, I wanted to share that May is my birthday month and also my dog, my Yorkie dog, Tanner's birthday month. So I figured it'd be so much fun to pretend that it's Penelope and Poopsie's birthday month for May. So we're going to be doing all kinds of cool things in May. At least I hope so, but I'm going to do my best. But before we continue... I have something to share with you for the first thing to do in May or the first new thing for May. I don't know. Let's just Here's get on the new it. counter that I built. I used Dollar Tree product. Now, I don't know if you guys would want me to make one and do a giveaway. I have no idea. I thought about doing a giveaway with this one, but I was like, oh, I usually just make stuff for myself for my own mini kitchen. So... I wanted to give it a try and what I wanted to try I have to move in closer so as you see my very first counter that I made was the yellow one and then my husband just helped me sand it and then he asked me well you want me to just go ahead and put yellow on it and I was like yeah sure but I had already had a white counter my husband made me the white one and then I to built that one and my husband painted that one yellow so I was like well a black counter would be nice now and then this is resin with the jewel gems or the nail gems from Dollar Tree in this container they had the pieces of fruit and I wanted to see if I could do it because I was inspired off of another channel which I will try and find his channel he did like a thousand pencil river table but in real life so I wanted to do one in miniature world with a counter. Now I did build this counter a little taller than the yellow one. It's just a little bit taller so that Penelope would look a little bit different by this one. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's cute. So because I'm not perfect, of course, there are a couple imperfections that I see or that I know. But I still love it. It is so beautiful in person. It really is. So let's start putting some stuff on this counter so you can really see what it's like. So because it's my birthday in May and it's going to be Penelope and Poopsies, we decided to go ahead and add, I made a balloon and added a balloon to her roses. How about we put those, should we put those next to Penelope? 
Sure, why not? Here, let me turn her hand. I don't want to break her hand. We all know how I broke the one Barbie's arm, right? Okay, that looks pretty, right? Now, the imperfection is right here. I don't know if you can see it in video very well, but we could always, you know, put something on it, right? So, here is that strawberry cake and our strawberry cream cake with the simulation cream glue. Yeah, this is also the stand that I made turn. Okay, all right. So there's the cake. What do you guys think on the black counter? Do you like it better on the black counter or do you miss the white one? I kind of think that everything stands out better on the black one. But I don't know. I could be wrong on that. I turned these cookies into like stuffed cream sandwiches. And then, since we are going to be making things for Penelope and Poopsie's birthday, or at least Penelope's birthday, the counter was the first thing. And then the cake, the balloon, I wanted to give it a try. I did a candy dish. I put all that extra loose candy and cookies and stuff that I had. I made a bowl and put it in there. What do you guys think? I'm sure I could have done a better job, but for my first try, I don't think that was too bad. And then I made another bowl or a plate. I actually painted the bottom of this one. And I had seen on another channel, I'm going to have to put it in the description for you because I do not remember her channel off the top of my head at the moment, but she is amazing. She should have like a million subscribers and a million views by now, but she had taken ribbon and put it around one of her cake stands or tear trays. So I thought, oh, that is so pretty. I wanted to give it a try. I thought it would look pretty for May. And then I made... This tart from the Master Chef with the simulation. So let's go ahead and put that in there. That looks pretty on the table, don't it? Or counter. And then I was like, you know, I love making cups. As you have seen, Penelope is holding a new cup. I made this one with a matching spoon or silverware holder. I think these kind of look like I bought them at Anthropology, just in miniature form, if you know what that store is. So now she has that. And then I thought a stepping stone would look so cute in her backyard. So I made her a little stepping stone. It didn't turn out exactly the way that I had hoped, but I... I think it's cute and I can still use it. And then the last thing that I made her recently are these fans. I thought this would look so cute near her table. So I made like two identical ones or pretty similar ones. And then this one to go in the center as wall decor. All right, all right, now let me share some stuff that I purchased from Dollar Tree and Dollar General. Let's get to it. Okay, so I purchased a new one of these at Dollar Tree. A little board so I can paint and color on and all that. I purchased some more glue dots so I could hold stuff down so in videos I don't knock it over and then we have a mess everywhere. And I bought this because I want to try and build something for Penelope's wall or make something for her wall. I'm not sure if it's going to, what exactly it's going to turn out to be yet. It could be just decor, it could be art or, you know, stuff like that. I'm not sure yet. Or if it's going to be like an addition. I'm not sure yet. So I'll get back to you on that. That'll be something in May. And then, of course, I bought the gems with the fruit so I could do the counter and I bought some clear nail polish rapid dry top coat a lot of pro a lot of a lot of uh, 
miniature people or people that do dollhouse stuff and miniatures say that this is really good to use if you don't have anything else or it's a really small area. So I figured I'd pick that up. And then this, I just wanted to try it and it actually worked out great. It is acrylic finish or a gloss finish. Now, it's very similar to Mod Podge, but I felt that it did really nice on the black counter. So if I see this again, I will be getting more. Now, what did I purchase at Dollar General? At Dollar General, I purchased more toothpicks. I don't know, well, I know it says skewers. They're just longer and they were cheaper. This was only a dollar at Dollar General and it's 300. I use these a lot when I am creating in mini worlds. So these are really handy and I already have a container to put them in. So if you don't use toothpicks, you might want to invest in those and Q-tips. All right, I bought some more white mat model magic. This is something that I have seen people use to make the simulation cream or whipped cream to put on your cakes. So this is something I wanted to try. And then these candles I picked up, they were $2 or $2.25. I thought this was this these would be cute to put around the mini world for May for Penelope and Poopsie's birthday. And I'll be careful so that I could also use them in reality or for my birthday. I also found this acrylic craft paint. It glows and I was like, oh, that is so cute. I can make a few things in the mini world glow. How cool is that? And then silver paint. It's a silver metallic. Again, this was only a dollar. And this was only a dollar. Because this, I want to make some pots and pans for Penelope's kitchen. She could get that as a gift. A set of pots and pans. And then I bought this because I want to make Penelope a really nice comfy chair for her birthday. So we'll see how this works out. And then a banner. I want to make her a happy birthday banner. I thought these letters might be good because the ones that I purchased at Dollar Tree, I purchased like stamp letters or alphabet stamp letters. These are the little plastics that were on the back. And they're okay, but they were a little too small for what I was wanting. And not enough consistency. So I seen these and I was like, oh, this will be perfect. And there's another craft I want to use them for. And the last thing that I found at Dollar General was this Play-Doh. And it looks like confetti birthday cake. And I was like, oh my goodness, I can make a cake. I can make a cake out of this. I'm excited about that. Or maybe some cupcakes or cake and cupcakes. I don't know. I was pretty excited when I found this one. So now I can make something for her birthday. There's all kinds of things I would like to make for her birthday. There's already something in the backyard of Mini World that I have to paint that is going to be for her birthday, but that'll be in the next video. I guess that is everything for today that I purchased. I am trying to go more towards using the dollar stores and or homemade. And going back to more of the old fashioned with Elmer's glue, Mob Hodge, wood glue, that kind of stuff. And getting away from more of the resin. Obviously, I have quite a bit of resin, so I will continue to use it but resin will be less as I continue to move forward. And I'm also excited because all the counters, well, everything in Mini World now is homemade except for the kitchen counter that's from Miniverse and the Barbie table. I'm pretty sure everything else is homemade or from Dollar Tree. So that's pretty awesome or Dollar General. All right, all right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you comment telling me to enter you in the giveaway if you have not been en entered in the giveaway or I didn't have your name on that list. And I will see you 
in the next in the next video or the next time bye